so today I am going to be doing my sister's makeup. Um, I know that looks look a little crazy, but you'll see what happened with that. Um, so today I am using products that are all cheap, so they're either going to be drugstore. Some of them I got from Amazon. Um, a lot of them I got from the website Hush Beauty, which um, does a lot of dupes of a lot of products. <laughs> and um, the ones that aren't dupes, <laughs> they sell for just really cheap. If you want to learn how to do this look with cheap products, just go ahead and keep watching. So we're starting with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the color 240. It's probably going to be too dark for her because I'm darker than she is, but it's my lightest foundation, so we're just going to deal with it. Okay, so we just did the foundation and concealer off camera. I didn't show you the concealer because it wasn't a drugstore concealer because I don't have one. Okay, so now we're going to go on with this cream contour kit I got from Amazon. It doesn't say a brand or anything, so but it was cheap. And I'm just going to apply it with this Morphe 102 brush. It's like this little guy. Okay, now I'm going to go in and bake under the eye with my Airspun Translucent Powder. Could you? I don't okay, know so this going. is the palette that I got from Hush. It is a dupe for the Anastasia Prism palette. Here is what it is. It's called Aurora by Bad Habit. I also got the one that is the dupe for the Subculture palette, but she chose to use this one. Okay, so there's not an ideal like taupe um, transition shade, so I'm just going to go in with this one. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Mystique, just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with the color Vibe to also deepen up the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take this flat brush and we're going to put this shimmer color on it. It's the gold one and it's called Soul. Now that this eye is done, I'm going to do the second eye off camera. One thing to know about this palette is that there is a lot of kick up when I'm putting my brush in it. so. I mean, it does give pretty good pigment and it blends pretty easily, but you lose a lot of product. 
Okay, now I'm just going to sweep away the baking. There was quite a bit of fallout from the shimmer shades, so that's why you want to keep your baking there. So when it falls out, you can just sweep it away. Now I'm going to, okay, now I'm going to put the air spun powder over the rest of her face. Okay, so this is a palette I got also from Hush. Okay, so it's a palette of 14 colors. It is a mix of bronzers and blushes. However, all the bronzers are shimmery, so I don't really know how to work with that because I only ever use matte bronzers. However, um, I do think they would be really pretty as shimmery like eyeshadows, so that's probably how I'm going to use them. So because they are all shimmery in that palette, I'm going to go in with my NYC Sunny Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze her face. She chose this color of the blush, so we're gonna go in with that one. So I'm just going to put some brow gel on her eyebrows because she has really thick eyebrows and my eyebrow pencil is too dark. So we're just gonna put eyebrow gel to make a little look a little more natural. Um, this, I don't know the brand of it because I just got it from Amazon and it doesn't say anything, so. It's just a cheap little eyebrow gel with a little wand applicator. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop highlighter. This obviously isn't from Hush, but it is a cheap, ColourPop is a cheap brand, that's why I chose it out of the highlighters that I have, and it's still really good for the price of it. Okay, this does not say the color of it, so it's just a pressed highlighter from ColourPop, and it looks like that. It looks yellow on the packaging. But when you put it on the face, it has like a pink hue to it. Now I'm going to take this little Morphe brush and I'm going to highlight the inner corner in the eyebrow bone with the same highlighter. Okay, so now I'm going to use this matte setting spray I also got from Lush. It's by the brand City Color. So, okay, now that the face is finished, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline The Colossal Volume Mascara. This I didn't buy from Hush, but it's um, a drugstore mascara, so it's like cheap. It's like 5 or $6, I think. Okay, now all that is left is lipstick, and this I got from Hush as well, and it actually came for free with my order, so that's pretty snazzy. This is the finished look. Just forget about the mouth. It looks a little really bad. This just shows that you can do a really good face of makeup with cheap products. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks. Bye.